Welcome back, everybody. Let me just fix this camera real quick. Like, bye bye. Boom. Okay, welcome back, everybody. My name is Mr. Sushi Panza, and back at it again with Doki Doki Literature Club episode 4. Now, I end up shaving, so I'm baby face right now, which I honestly do not mind at all. I really like it. Um, Let's continue. We were right here and we were about to go and talk to the girls about our poem. So, ha ha ha. Let's see what they think about. Uh, let's see what we think about. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, um, we tried to cater our poem to Natsuki. So, let's see what she ends up liking. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poem yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Yeah, exactly. Uh, da da da. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Okay, well, let's start with the one, the things I don't like. First of all, um, da, da, da. That's okay, rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Wait, uh, what? Uh, that's, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? Yeah, exactly, girl. Show me what you think. Tell me what you think. I wrote this when I could have been doing other things, you know? In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when I, when I was writing this. <coughs> I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Oh, oh we're definitely getting on the nerves on this one, my dudes. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem, make me go all oh, ha ha. Well, it's not like it's great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Wait, so we did a good job. We actually did a good job. <laughs> she really likes her poem. Yes. So in other words, you're saying you like it? Uh, no. Natsuki reports. Retor just gets caught in her throat. Oh, you're so old. You just, you don't understand anything, do you? Um, of course I do. I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never acted, actually you said that. I say that mostly to myself. Not so must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Er, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Ah, oh, the famous poem! Eagles can't fly. <laughs> Monkeys can't jump. I mean, climb. Crickets can't leap. Horses can't ride. Owls can't see. Cheetahs can't run. Eagles can't fly. People can't try. And that's about it. <laughs> One of my favorite poems of all time. Uh... Yeah, I tell you, you wouldn't. We're not gonna like it. I like it. I like it. I... Just be honest. I am, dude. My dude. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff so people don't even take my writing seriously but isn't that a point of poems for people to express themselves your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid yes exactly oh i like it when it's e i like it when it's easy to read but it hits you hard like this book seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on your wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then make it fall flat, so flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the uh, last line. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you do. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? 
Okay. Uh, didn't expect that from the youngest one here, didn't you? Yeah, I guess so. I decided to humor her with that last one. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Yeah! Alright, so that went better than expected. Now let's see how Sayori ends up taking it. The second best wife. Sayori, dot dot dot. Oh my goodness! <laughs> this is so good! <laughs> eh. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> oh my god. I had no idea you were such a good writer! Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Ah! <laughs> Jeez. Jesus, girl. I'm sure your opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it just because... Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? <laughs> well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of people you know. Uh, so when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a damn poem! Oh, girl, make me blush. And that makes it, f and that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. Hey, 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 hey. I'm happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention that the fact that I'm standing in front of you is the, in the classroom. Uh, and make me join because of the goddamn couple. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Dada. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying to things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Things, Sayori. Thank you. I'm not sure Sayori... I'm not sure Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much it means to her at all. Yeah, and I want to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? This, that will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Yes! Yay! <laughs> no, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, it's really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Alright, dear sunshine, the way you glow through the birds the way you glow through the birds in the morning, blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you thrusting me to wash away the rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. That's a secret, but I trust you too. If I wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not. I want breakfast. <laughs> Alright, I really like her poem, especially at the end. Morning breakfast part. My dude, I could go for some pancakes, some eggs, some waffles, some bacon. Oh. I want breakfast too. <laughs> Sayori. Uh, this is just This is just a guess, but did you wait until the morning to morning to write this? No! Just a little bit. I can't answer just you can't answer just a little bit to it yesterday, no question. I forgot to do it last night. So, well at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. <laughs> oh my god. I'm still I still tried my best. <laughs> yeah. I don't mean to say that as a bad poem. It came out nice. Or sh how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Oh, that sounds so good. Even though, even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip her. It is. It's like it all cranky. <laughs> She's like so adorable. So adorable. 
Well, I guess there's a point in arguing. Anyways, thanks for showing me. <laughs> it was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. Oh. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. That's what I'm talking about, girl. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Yeah, that was awesome. That was better than expected. Now let's go to Yuri. Da da da. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. Ooh. Ooh. A minute pa passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. This is sorry. I forgot. I forgot to start speaking. I forgot to start. I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> Um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. It's just, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that I might be after reading through it. Also, is that bad? No, 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 no. The I just raised my voice. Oh, I'm sorry. That actually reminds me a lot of Fluttershy, actually. <laughs> Jerry blushes her face in her hands. Buries her face in her hands. I can't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. I might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It, it's fine. I, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there were specific writing habits that usually... That usual... Tip, uh, typical of new writers. Oh god. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very... Deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style separate from the topic pattern, and they form and they form fit the two together. And the end result is both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once she finds her train of thought, it's as, uh, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering, her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds. Oh, it's her stammer and is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Ooh. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple problem. Not that just them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. I might take you some time, it might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning for, by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in this club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I should be talking about people like them. I shouldn't be talking about people like them. Sorry. It's fine. I guess. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't that supposed to be to be a literature club? Oh god. God, I don't think I could read this. Uh, Ghost under the light. The tenderness of the light of the hair illuminates beneath the amber glow, bathing. I must be this one. The last remembering, uh, remaining sunlight to love was told the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the striking blue-green hue of the future. I breathe. Clay, uh, calms, breathing air of the presence by living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Oh, that was really cool. Uh, pretty too. Hello. Hello. 
А, да, да, да. I feel like you should see the top of my head. Hello. I got my ukulele. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had such horrible handwriting. No, girl. You're gonna. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But but it might take you a long time to read it. Ah, I just uh, I suck at reading. I just suck at reading. <laughs> well, I just don't read very uh, read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Ah, that's a relief. Uh, deeper, deep. Also, I like your I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was very descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm I'm really glad you like it. You'll be honest. Since uh, it's the first time sharing, I want the writing. I want to write something a little more mild, something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Jerry? Hugh, <laughs> Hugh. Actually. The story isn't about a ghost at all, Dylan. Really? I must have totally missed that part. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that po poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and expressions into their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In that case, perhaps the subject of the poem is, is only being sub- Symbologically compared to a ghost, I know how to read. Uh, lingering in the last remaining piece, place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. As soon as, as soon as to be left with nothing. That's a little, that's a lot more solemn. Putting it that way, I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Yeah, we got through um, Yuri. Now it's time to show our poem to Monica. The last one. Ah. What kind of voice did I give her again? Hi, Dylan. I did I I did I and all did them. I ran out of voices. I only know this is a three. Hi Dylan. Having a good time with so far? Uh yeah. Yeah. Good good uh good. Glad to hear it. Oh by the way, since you're new and everything. If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up things, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be af I'll be afraid to bring these. Th of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyways. Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Dylan. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's just a short of a barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I had Monica my poem. Hmm, I like it, Dylan. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> Oh jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something that took you all right. Uh, she's a good writer too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> totally wasn't trying to impress uh, my number one wife over here. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. By the chance you have read anything by Seal Serverton, huh? Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a simple few words. His poems can be funny, entertaining, and even sad. 
and sometimes they're only a few lines long and might even feel like they're written for kids but if you think about them they can express views of the world that would apply to anyone i see so you're saying that natsuki is kind of like that sort of maybe she's not an expert but you'd probably find much more fuller in her poems they might be easy to write but they're super challenging to get the meaning through so I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things at all. I could, it could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. Yeah, that's true. <coughs> but, I mean, we're all just trying to impress a girl, so... Let's keep writing about Keychip. <laughs> it's not like you... Like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. I'm not trying to do that at all. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um... Do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. They sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That that doesn't mean I always feel the way, you know. Uh, I see. Well, let's read it then. Whoa, hole in wall. It couldn't have been me, see? The direction, the sparkling protease, the back protease, a noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, you'll never know. I wasn't home, I peered inside for a clue. No, I can't see, I really blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My re retained. My retained already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It, it's just a little hole, it wasn't too bright, it was too deep. Searching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realized now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. That's very deep. So, what do you think? I think it's, it's very free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for free to feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Well, what kind of style have gotten pretty popular nowadays? That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. And uh, what was the in, in, in inspiration behind? What was the inspiration behind this one? Like, oh God, I can't read. Oh uh, well, I'm not sure if you had to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of empathy recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. And empathy, epiphany. Epiphany, yeah, there you go. Epiphany. Word of the day is epiphany. Um, uh, it's all over the damn place. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, but it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is uh, better friends with each other. Anyways, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. And if you tried so hard and got so far in the end, it never really mattered. So to make it perfect, then you'll make <laughs> then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way of thinking about this is if you keep your pen on the same spot for too long, you'll get a big black puddle of ink. 
So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. And that's, and thus ends Monica's writing tip of the day. Thanks for listening. Yeah, we got through it. Woo, 26 minutes. God damn. <laughs> Phew, I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room and that was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my metal cave writing ab- mediocre writing abilities. And if it's just being nice, even if they're just being nice, there's no way my comments can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all, which I hadn't even seen to pronounce the word right. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They're generally uh, exchanging sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tantum, I watched each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyes frown in frustration, while Yuri smiles sadly. What is this language? Uh, um, did you say something? Oh, uh, no, it's, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively turns the poem into the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is... Cute. Cute? Cupcakes are cute. Laptops are electrical. Light is light. People can fly. People can dance. People can die. That's about it. <laughs> did, you com- uh, did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Just try that hard to come up with something nice to say. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Uh, well, I have a couple suggestions. Huh? Well, if I wasn't, if I was looking for suggestion, I could ask someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Oh, say so you liked it and didn't it too. So based on them. I'll gladly give you some suggestion on my own. First of all, excuse me. Oh, oh, oh. I appreciate the office, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly interesting, which I haven't yet. Nah! And Dylan liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. That's so good. Oh, 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 throw me in the deep end, my dude. That's okay. Suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you had such an in- inverted. In- I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that's not what I. I oh, you, you're just. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Dylan appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Ah! And how do you know he appreciates my advice more? Are you just full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do orally cutesy. Oh. 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 Uh... Is everything okay? Well, you know- ah, You know what? I wasn't the one whose booze magically grew size bigger as soon as Dylan started showing up. N- Natsuki! Uh, Natsuki, that's a little- I- Oh. <laughs> Not in your- It doesn't love you! <laughs> oh my god, I'm I- I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly, two girls turned towards me, and uh, they just noticed I was standing there. Dylan! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! If she couldn't get over herself and learn to appreciate that smell pool, I need is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems sound convincing? 
uh, convulsed for no reason. I mean, it should jump out in the reader and I forced them to have to figure it out. How me explain that to her, Dylan? I don't think you think it's kind of dead, my dude. Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expensive words and words in our language. That's the only way to convey complex feelings and meanings to most expe expectantly. Avoiding them is not over only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Tom? Um... Well... Well... How did I get tried into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Oh, of course that's what's going to be. Well, <laughs> I hate to end this here, but I kind of have to because the video is 31 minutes, 32 minutes now. Um, we'll find out in the next one. What's going to happen? Who am I going to choose? Either Natsuki, Yuri, or help me, Sayori. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember to always go beyond Tan Soldier. God, I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. I'm done.